welcome viewers in official youtube channel of school leadership academy scrt jnk i uh, will talk on national education policy in detail especially this video is part of a orientation program for all the heads of institutions all the uh, school leaders all the system level functionaries because this is the document which will guide us in the next few decades in Indian education system. And now we have with us policy, we have with us the implementation program in the form of Sarthak 1 and Sarthak 2. But most importantly, School Leadership Academy believes in if you know better, you do better. So let's understand this policy dynamics, policy components in detail. First, let's go to the background. We have a, earlier, we have a policy of 1986. Before that, we have a policy 1966, a Kothari Commission, we call it. So policies, why are there? There has been a, a demand for the public. There has been a demand from the global society about the paradigm shift from the basic behavioralism of uh, education system to a constructivism approach. We might have read in our beard programs of Sickner's behavioralism uh, and Piaget's or Vygotsky constructivism. And this theory is uh, in the backdrop of National Curriculum Framework uh, 2005. 2005, which talks about the constructivist approach of education. There's, there should be the end to the root memorization. There should be an end to the knowledge part only. Now, we have a policy. This, this has been a, a journey of this policy document. There has been a good number of debates, discussions all over the country, even at international platforms, especially backed by the Right to Education Act that has been incorporated in the policy. So now, uh, the policy talks about the, the other key principles of the national education policy. One of the key principles is respecting the diversity and the local context. That's the most important principle of this uh, national education policy, which talks about we have to incorporate, we have to go beyond classroom. So once we go beyond classroom, India is a big country which has a, we usually call it a diverse, diversity in terms of language, in terms of uh, original ethos, in terms of cultural settings. So where we have to incorporate in our curriculum the diversity of a regional, a regional level. And it has to be in the pedagogy also not only in the curriculum but in the transaction there should be a local flavor and the second most important principle is the equity and the inclusiveness inclusiveness is not only for uh, child with special needs no it inclusiveness is for gender because still we have a gender parity in the Indian context. The policy is in line with the sustainable development goals set by the United Nations where it talks about the sustainable development goal 4, that SDG sustainable development goal 4.7. It talks about the quality of education. Quality of education. It talks about the lifelong learning lifelong learning it talks about the vocational education lifelong learning it talks about the vocational education so these are the basically derived from the sustainable development goals and now india has incorporated that goals in the policy because policy is beyond the knowledge part second is in this policy, there is a focus on com uh, community participation. Reason being, education is the tetrapolar process. Is tetrapolar process? May it's not only the student, teacher, or principal. It's the community as a whole. It's the politician. This is the NGO world. It's the bureaucrats. They have to be the part of this 
implementation program of national education policy and most important part of this policy is teacher and technology we call it a two t's has to be together i request all my school leaders embrace this technology and this is we can take a take the benefits of 21st century only if if we if teacher and technology has to be together it's not the technocrats can solve the problem of education no it's you because you are a basic pedagogue you know uh, the curriculum you know the content you know the pedagogy and now you have to incorporate the technology in it and another important aspect is for uh the students who have been earlier not part of the formal education system and now they have to be part of the formal education system especially it talks about the sign language for the vigyan students it we have to eradicate the barriers which were there for the uh students or child with special needs now this policy focuses on the conceptual understanding not on the memorization only google can solve this memorization uh, there's a best solution with the google baba another important thing is we have to identify each student is different each student is different with different uh, competencies and we have to work on those competencies and policy talk of about the 21st century skills of four c's and one of the important is critical thinking we call it a four c's this is the 21st century skill which is available in my video youtube channel 21st century skill critical thinking and creativity that's a important part of national education policy 2020 and it because once we think of critically once we think creatively there will be a good logical decision making and there will be a uh, innovation students or teachers or our heads of institutions can start initiating innovations in the educational process it's not innovations happens only in uh, science and engineering no it happens in educational processes also and last and important thing is there has to be a review process rigorous review process in this whole of uh, the decade 202 to 2030 moving ahead the second and the important uh, area of national education policy it has transformed the existing structure jo hamare paas structure tha wo tha in the form of uh, two years uh, this structure now it has been uh, reframed N now focus will be on ecc that will be next slide early child care and education because there has been a constructivist belief that the early age 3 uh, years plus is the prime age where child can even learn multiple languages some uh, scholars some educationists believe more than 20 languages 25 languages they can learn because they have more they are receptive they can after that this is the new structure academic structure there will be a uh, there will be nothing like uh, middle in this year there will be a f these are the five years after that we have a three years six to eight class and we have a nine twelve that will be one age group because it it has a certain uh, research based or certain uh, evidence based things in it for example in the foundation stage it has to be purely a activity based we call it a abl method second at preparatory stage that's a 3 years 3 to 5 years that's a three classes it has to be something uh, activity based play based and some uh, inter interactive classroom between a facilitator and the students and the third middle stage there will be some sort of experiential learning which policy focuses on experiential learning hands on experience especially in this uh, subjects of science mathematics uh, and social sciences at secondary level there would be a focus multi disciplinary study greater focus on critical thinking jo policy ka ek principle hai 
there will be a flexibility in students to choose subjects students can move from science to they can go for humanities they can move for uh, arts uh, they can choose commerce they can choose management subjects so there's a greater flexibility a student can study physics with uh, music so there's a flexibility in this policy second uh, component of this policy is that there will be a uh, park Parak will be there because in order to implement these things, there has to be a center which will uh, review the performance. We full form is performance assessment, review and analysis of knowledge for holistic development of a uh, both teacher as well as students. Because now second important aspect of. Uh, Uh, national education policy is to transform the curriculum both at uh, language for instruction assessment and experiential learning uh, first important thing is uh, national education policy focused on multilingualism which was not earlier there even some of the states there is a uh, challenge or there is a challenge from the government or uh, challenge for the government because in order it's a multicultural society where which language be stressed upon which language can be a medium but it has to be something balanced between home language and the school language so it basically talks about a instruction preferably till grade 8th and beyond it will be a home language because it has been proved that if their transaction but uh, can be in home language it can lead to the better learning outcomes there cannot be a learning gaps and regional languages local regional languages or we call it a mother tongue that's the first important landmark in the national education policy second is second important thing is in case of assessment it has to be more more flexible and it has to be something based on competencies rather than something a root memorization which was earlier there students used to, in public exam system hamare yahan kya hota tha all over the country is that they used to uh, they used to their paper pattern was of such an era where we can only test the uh, remembering power of a student rather than something on competencies or high order skills especially the key principle hain critical thinking pe baat nahi ho rahi thi hamare examination system pe so second board exams test will be on focus will be on core competencies rather than on root memorization so there has to be a, a census assessment jo hamare yahan ek national achievement survey hota hai 3 5 8 10 vi jamaat ke liye Well, that will be kind of a health checkup for the education system as a whole. उसके बाद experiential learning में there is a good amount of scope for in the national education policy. That's hands-on learning, experiential learning. That has been a it has they have reframed the Gandhian new education or uh, this Gandhian new education. Arts and sports will be integrated. So there will be a storytelling because storytelling is the kind of holistic approach to understand any concept. There will be explorations uh, and interrelations among the subjects. This is <coughs> reduction in the curriculum. Obviously, it has to be there. There has there is a concept called bagless days in the school, <coughs> and more importantly, there has to be focus on core. essential jo bacche ko zarurat hai rather than something which uh, our uh, google can support we don't have to remember all those things there has to be focus on critical thinking the it ha classroom has to be very much interactive there has to be focus on experiential learning so these are the there can be a reduction in the curriculum there can be integration horizontal vertical in the curriculum in the subjects even the uh, languages can be taught uh, through science they want to reduce the curriculum they want to reduce the learning should not be burden that's a basic fundamental behind it after that the competencies uh, 
किस किस कॉम्पिटेंसी पे बात होगी और कैसे इंटीग्रेशन होगी तो इसमें सबसे अहम चीज है जो पेडागोजिकल प्लान दैट पढ़ाने का जो तरीका है नजरिया है दैट शुड फोकस ऑन कॉम्पिटेंसी इन आउटकम बेस्ड एंड दिस इज ऑल फॉर एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल स्कूल लीडर्स फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द कॉम्पिटेंसी बेस्ड अप्रोच देर आर द मेनली वी टॉक अबाउट द एकेडमिक कॉम्पिटेंसी सोशो इमोशनल कॉम्पिटेंसी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट वी कॉट अ सेल सोशो इमोशनल लर्निंग बिकॉज एजुकेशन इज does not uh, take place only in academic competence does not take care of academic competency but also socio emotional part also that's important part second there can be integration in the subjects third uh, there has to be a scientific temper need to be developed among the students especially in uh, key subjects where they can lead to the innovations and there has to be some sort of uh, which world demands like sustainable development demands certain things like there should be a values such as patriotism sacrifice non violence truth honesty peace which world uh, needs these days a global peace uske baad there can be a no hard separation between curriculum curricular goals and extra curricular activities ye sabse badi cheez isme hai usually hamare jab hum padhai karte the to there has been a clear cut uh, line between <coughs> sports and the curriculum so it has to be something integrated <coughs> uske baad emphasis on digital literacy obviously uh, jo digital ek revolution aa gaya usse hamari education is no uh we can't say education we can uh, be away from the digital uh, aspects of education we have to incorporate those uske baad promotion of multilingualism especially in indian context where we have thousands of languages uske baad we have a important uh, aspects that's innovative pedagogies which our teachers our school leaders has to discuss practice and apply in their classroom because teaching learning process has to be now uh, need a not only fine tuning it needs a reform in itself it needs a reform in itself first pedag innovative pedagogy it has to be experiential learning it has to be something inquiry based it has to be something hands on experience second it has the pedagogy need to be integrated across subjects across discipline and more another part is peer learning promotion of peer learning earlier it was a teacher dominated transactions in the classroom but now it has to be something uh, peer collaborative learning student and teach the definition of teacher is now as a facilitator of learning 21st century belongs to the learning so they have both are a learner uske baad uh, there this is the important component ki jahan pe is pedagogy mein there should be a no separation among the curricular and extra and non curricular uh, co curricular activities or there should be freedom there should be bagless days and we have to incorporate technology multilingualism as i talk this is the uh, important aspects in indian languages to improve iska main maqsad hai to improve learning out there is research is backing it to improve learning learning outcomes you might have seen that all over the countries they are using their own uh, language which led to more constructivism approach to the learning rather than in indian context we are for, uh, it takes us years to understand the english language and then we are, we can't have a mastery and especially there has to be link between home language and the school language three language formula it was there also and it is it has to be there and focus will be on some classical languages also like sanskrit and this नाउ टीचर इस एक बड़ी चेंज है नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी तो उसके लिए टीचर्स के लिए फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डेवलप द कॉम्पिटेंसीज ऑफ टीचर एंड देन एंड ओनली एजुकेशन सिस्टम कैन 
रिफॉर्म तो इसमें सबसे पहले पॉलिसी बात करें नेशनल प्रोफेशनल स्टैंडर्ड फॉर टीचर्स एंड इट विल बी डेवलप्ड बाय एन उसके बाद जो टीचर एजुकेशन का जो हमारा प्रोग्राम है नेशनल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बी एड एंड डी एड प्रोग्राम बी एड डी एड एंड एम एड प्रोग्राम विच विल बी मोर नाउ क्वालिटेटिव बेस्ड लाइक पॉलिसी टॉक्स अबाउट द फोर ईयर बी एड प्रोग्राम फोर ईयर बी एड प्रोग्राम सो ओबियसली देर विल बी अ मोर फोकस ऑन द क्वालिटी आस्पेक्ट्स इनकलूशन एंड अदर आस्पेक्ट्स विच पॉलिसी टॉक्स अबाउट थर्ड इज रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ टीचर इट विल बी प्योरली मेरिट बेस्ड इट विल बी प्योरली मेरिट बेस्ड rather than something which uh, most of the states have introduced of their own because it has to be in line with the implementation program of policy uske baad uh, there has to be a continuous teacher training and professional development it's mandatory 50 hr har saal ek teacher ko mandatory 50 hr professional trainings or professional or capacity development programs attend karne उसके बाद देर कैन बी अ कैरियर प्रोग्रेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट इन टीचर डेवलपमेंट सो ये टीचर्स के लिए उसके बाद टीचर एजुकेशन जैसे मैंने कहा फोर ईयर बी एड प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम अर्लियर दिस विल बी मिनिमम डिग्री क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर टीचिंग इंक्लूड स्टूडेंट टीचिंग एट लोकल स्कूल बाई टू जीरो थ्री जीरो अर्लियर The eligibility was 10 plus 2 or uh, uh, graduation, but it is mandatory now. Beard is compulsory for all the teaching uh, jobs. Now, teacher recruitment. Obviously, there will be a online computerized system, open system for all the teachers. It should be teacher friendly because uh, second, we there is there. Is, uh the policy talks of the teacher eligibility test which will be which will be uh, there in all over the india on the basis of that teachers will be eligible to apply for the jobs uske baad tech based planning and recruitment of teachers in future third uh nct national council for teacher education ka ek restructure because that deals with the, all the teacher education institutions like uh, colleges you have seen in the universities we are doing bed mn program in institute of advanced studies uh, scrts dites they will be under the ac uh, academic control of nct after that uh, this is the first component of policy fln foundational literacy and numeracy it talks about uh fln is basically now it's a mission it's in the form of mission national mission on foundational literacy and numeracy it is ability to read comprehend and write a basic text and ability to carry out basic addition subtraction with indian numerals this is the first part of policy इट्स अ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्ट वी हैव टू अचीव द एफ एल एन गोल्स और निपन भारत के जो गोल्स सेट हैं उसमें हमारे बच्चे को आना चाहिए रीड कॉम्प्रहेंड एंड राइट बेसिक टेक्स्ट उसके बाद बेसिक एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन इन इंडियन न्यूमरल्स उसके बाद यूनिवर्सल एक्सेस टू एजुकेशन टू ऑल लेवल्स जितने भी आउट ऑफ स्कूल चिल्ड्रन हैं उनको स्कूल्स में लाना बैक टू द स्कूल एंड प्रिवेंटिंग ड्रॉप आउट ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट्स अ एक्सेस उसके बाद स्कूल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टॉक्स अबाउट द यूनिवर्सल पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ स्कूल बाई ट्रैकिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर लर्निंग लेवल क्योंकि पॉलिसी इज मोर हाफ ऑफ लर्निंग रादर दैन एक्सेस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट इंडिया हैज सम हाफ सक्सीड इन इन अचीविंग द एक्सेस इन द एजुकेशन उसके बाद वेन वी टॉक ऑफ ECC obviously government is working on it elementary uh, early childhood care and education there has been a lot of work on it it's a preparatory years this is the ECC road map 
these are the preparatory classes prior to the age 5 child who move to the preparatory class or ball vaticas uske baad fln 3 to 8 years it will be divided into two parts 3 se 6 saal acc 6 to 8 years first and second that will be uske baad it will move to the formal why ECC? Because learning is the formative years. The earlier years, mein, isme jo brain ki development hai, that's why uh, there is a focus on early childhood, hun, child care and childhood care and education. Because in this years, this is the important thing. First, in, in salon mein bachche ko colors, shapes, alphabets, num, 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 numbers ke baare mein aana chahe. Relationship with the nature, arts, craft, Logical thinking and problem solving, developing curiosity, teamwork, collaboration. These sub cheese is in sal mein the uh, constructive approach ke taat isko sikhaya jayega. Uske baad hai second focus is on uh, access. Uske baad hai equitable because there are uh, in Indian context there are lakhs crores of uh, students who don't have equitable uh, access to the education that's why policy focus on girl child special child uh, that's a child with children with disabilities uh, that's been a lot of focus given to the especially sdgs social and economically deprived class on groups we but focus hai is national education policy because that's a inclusive inclusive uh, an equitable education. Now, uh, digital learning. Obviously, there uh, you might have all aware about the Diksha platform. Uh, E-content will be created by teachers, will be uploaded on Diksha platform where all the parents, uh, teachers, students can have access to that content. And that's uh, it's the biggest platform ever in world. Diksha is the biggest platform digital platform for education in India. Uh, there will be a digital repository for the all the content which will be created in uh, due course of time. After that, <coughs> we have a existing mass media hamara that has to be integrated with uh, teaching learning process. Even our uh, traditional radio, television or even uh, nowadays, we have a social media application that will be uh, somehow linked with the learning process. And the established e-learning platform I want to talk about Swayam, Diksha, Vidyadan, E-Vidyadan, it's a big names. Uh, <coughs> they are all available with us. Uske baad, uh, these are the other aspects of the policy. First, uh, complexes ka ek, uh, concept introduced hua hai ki within 5 to 10 kilometers ki radius mein there will be one complex which will be look, look after all the primary schools, high schools, they can be easily sharing of resources. Jamare pas resources existing, so one school can share the resources, physical, uh, human, or financial resources. Second, uh, important is cheese, uh, second important concept hai, that is. Uh, St standardization that will I talk of later. Yeah, this is the important thing. Uh, state school standard authority will be set up in every state in duty to ensure that all schools follow certain minimum professional and quality standards. This will be in line with the, the NAC, National Assessment. Jo higher education mein hota hai. Similarly, that will be a part of school education, jahan pe quality, uh, regular quality checkups hongi for all government as well as private schools. And SCRT uh, ko strengthen kiya jayega, especially the teacher education institutes hai, diets, SCRT ko strengthen kiya jayega uh, on the basis of national education policy. Because this is, they will definitely contribute in terms of uh, quality improvement in teaching learning process. Uske baad, uh, initial policy talks about the 
एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ए काउंसलिंग एट क्लस्टर लेवल और ए कॉम्प्लेक्स लेवल वेर काउंसलर सोशल वर्कर्स विल बी देयर एट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द टीचर्स उसके बाद कम्युनिटी एंगेजमेंट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन एजुकेशन प्रोसेस उसके लिए देयर हैज बिन ए स्टेप्स टेकन टू स्ट्रेंथन द एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन पर्टिकुलर एरियाज एंड लाइब्रेरीज का कंसेप्ट रिव्यू होगा इसके लिए देर हैज बिन ए गुड अमाउंट एलोकेटेड टू ऑल द स्कूल्स टू एस्टेब्लिश लाइब्रेरी टू डेवलप द लर्निंग कल्चर विद इन द स्कूल्स और एस्टेब्लिश इको क्लब्स और लिटररी क्लब्स और स्टोरी टेलिंग क्लब्स इन द स्कूल्स and a key focus areas will be obviously sdgs social and economically deprived class jo gender biasness hamare yahan hai usko khatam karne ke liye policy ka ek bada focus hai jo social cult uh, cultural identities ko barqarar rakha jayega uske baad this is vocational education because this is the future of education future of education lies in two things sustainable development goals as well as एजुकेशन फॉर सस्टेम एंड वोकेशनलाइजेशन ऑफ एजुकेशन तो इसमें क्या है इट विल बी प्योर फर्स्ट देयर विल बी अल गैप एनालिसिस ऑल ओवर द कंट्री ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड देयर आवर कैरिकुलम विल बी लिंकड विद द वोकेशनलाइजेशन ऑफ एजुकेशन आवर पेडागोलॉजी विल बी लिंकड विद द वोकेशनलाइजेशन ऑफ एजुकेशन तो इसमें फोकस विल बी ऑन देयर विल बी अ फ्रेम वर्क स्किल फ्रेम वर्क national skill qualification framework which will talk detailed on the different vocations which need to be in, introduced incorporated in our curriculum there has to be an integration after that uh, another important thing is open and distance learning through odl mode uh, we have a uh, traditional crafts all over the country and that has to be integrated somewhere in the curriculum timelines for implementation of the policy obviously uh, this is the this is a reform in education itself in indian education system so it has a timeline of uh, 20 2040 what are the important things pehle there will be a curriculum framework banaya jayega 2021 22 mein ek uske baad teachers ke liye ek naya national curriculum framework for teacher education the quality aspects wagera उसके बाद जो नेशनल प्रोफिनशल स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर टीचर्स सेट किए जाएंगे उसके बाद एफ एल एन पर काफ़ी फोकस काफ़ी पैसा इन्फ्यूज़ किया जाएगा बाई टू ज़ीरो टू फाइव टू सिक्स तक ये कम्प्लीट होना चाहिए एफ एल एन मिशन उसके बाद यूनिवर्सल प्रोविजन ऑफ ई सी सी टीचर एजुकेशन विल बी ग्रेजुअली मूड इन टू मल्टी डिसप्लिनरी कॉलेजेस and a comprehensive review will be undertaking in 2040 so thank you all for um, listening to it this is the detailed video on national education policy you can write on the chat box about your comments about your uh, ideas on how to implement national education policy thank you